Friday night. It's a drinking pod. Is it? Dean is still hungover. Yes. Dean's got a big shot of Deserano. Cheers. Let's go. Cheers, Let's go. Dean. <laughs> and yes. we have I got at the end of the pod. <laughs> we have got Morgan Sea Tree with us. It's crazy out there. It's big okay. market Saturday night Halloween weekend. But let's get straight into it. How did you get Patrick Topping to sign the strength to trick records? So to be fair, right, it's like, honestly, I, and Patrick will tell you this if you speak, so what I'd done to get it signed was like, no one had done it before, so I was trying to send him tunes for ages, like, and you know when you DM someone, like, if they've got a blue tick, you don't, whatever, it just goes in like a thing, it goes into his request, so I was like, send him tunes, you want to see them, and then I was commenting on all his posts, I was like, check your DMs, mate, like, set you some tunes, like, proper my and I was felt, felt like a proper beg, and then anyway, I was like, right, it's not working, this, so... I, was, I said to Ailey, I was like, right, what, what can I do here to get him to notice it? And then we caught the idea that if you put a post on and like everyone tags Trick and Patrick, so if I put a post on and everyone tags him in the comments, it comes up on like his actual feed. Yeah, I like, yeah. did a little bit of research, it's the research. Yeah. So I put a post up of two tracks. It wasn't the strength, it was two like early ones, which haven't come out. I was like, right, if you like these tunes, tag Patrick, tag Trick and... See if he sees it. So we got about 200 people just in nice. the comments. And then he DM'd me. He was like, oh, mate, these are sick. Sorry, I've not seen the messages. And then that's how we connected. So then from there, it's just like, then I was able to send the music and stuff all the time. Um, went out to DC 10 to meet him. So he played, he didn't play the strength there. So the strength was actually made in, was it Halloween? It was like when we was in Iceland, wasn't it? So it was about this time last year I made it. And we was in Iceland, and then I sent him, and he was playing at Warehouse Projects in Manchester. So we, obviously, I, he was like, are you in Manchester? I'm going to play this tonight. I was like, oh, I'm not even there. And then he ended up playing it, and then he sent me a voice note the next day. He's like, he never sends voice notes. He was like, mate, he's like, that tune went off. It was all really said, like, I want to sign it. So yeah, literally signed it from there. And then that, that was last October, and then it came out in June. So nice. six months after. Boom, nice. congrats. Because well, yeah. um, I send him stuff to, so the, if anyone's watching it and generally wants to have an idea about how to get stuff to him, he is great at checking the demos yeah. at trick.co.uk or yeah, whatever. Yeah. I send him stuff on that and he checks it and gets back to you. So if you are trying to get a, a record signed to Trick, get on there, sure. send him over to the demos thing. Yeah, I think it just depends as well. Like at the time when I was doing it, I think it's it was like he was so busy with it. So he was like, it was like sort of peak touring time for him as well. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't really checking the demos, emails much. I was still sending it today, but yeah, now he's definitely more on top of it. Now he's got like two people checking it now. So yeah, that's probably the best way to get music to him. No, absolutely unreal. I mean, it was, it was such a good story as well. I didn't want to interrupt you. So I was having to like, have me amaretto with no mixer. I didn't want to take it. In, but I love Such the story. a trooper. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm also so glad I can get mixer again. Also, we should probably mention for those watching. Yeah. We've actually got a live studio. Live studio audience. Shout out the audience. Live Shout out the audience. But audience. no heckling, as we promised. Although, apparently, we're going to get heckled if we don't drink enough. <laughs> like, drink, drink. Uh, your brand, Unfussy. Yep. Where'd that name come from, man? Because that's an that's an interesting <laughs> you know what? It's, name. It's another weird story, man. Everyone's gonna think what's these stories about. So it's another one. So me and Amy was away, like it was at, we was at some like glamping pod. And you know Camden the beer, yeah. So they got like Camden Camden beer. Hells, yeah. Camden yeah. Hells, yeah. So they, they basically they did this like multi. Do we know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should have invited you on our beer pod. <laughs> yeah. Do we know beer? Oh, yeah. Love it. Sorry, Camden, but if you do have any cans you want to send, but we'll take them over uh, Beaver Dam. Yeah, I'm trying to get the sponsor. So basically, they, like, they have like Camden Pale, Camden Hells, and they do one called Camden and Fussy. Like, I need to try to find it, you know. Just Oh, so you literally took it from the yeah, beer? So, but, oh, nice. So I was like, what a name for like a party or something. Yeah. But then I was like, obviously, am I going to get like nicked or something? If I, like, <laughs> so, I was like, check it. So that's the, uh, I don't know if it's coming up, but you can see it on there. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's... It, that was just, it was like a light bulb moment. I was like, what a name. And then I like, did a bit of research on it. I was like, yeah, we can definitely set this up as a brand. And then like when we set it up, it's like, I think it resonates so well because it's like people, you, you know, if you're into all types of music, you're not fussy, do you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, it, it works well for things like clothing, like anything really. And it just came from that. I feel like you can't make names up. It just comes to you yeah. like a light bulb thing. Like, he's looking at me. I, I've cracked this job for, but we don't even make names up anymore. We just shove the word loose in front of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> loose vest, loose crawl, loose cast. Yeah. <laughs> it works up. It, it is mad. I mean, obviously, like, Dean has been part of coming up with, you know, lots of brands for for loose days. 
Um, but it is mad when you're sitting there having that, like, because you always think about ones like you like cream as I was one, and you always think yeah. about these famous like names. How they got it? Yeah, and yeah. it's just like it's and incredible. Even, like, DJ names though as well. Like sometimes I look at DJ yeah. So where'd you make your DJ name up from? <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out, mum for giving it. <laughs> Someone I played at a gig right, and he went, "Hey, like that surname, like how did you come up with that?" Like Cedric, I was like. <laughs> Like, this is going to be the best part ever. <laughs> so that's not even because of the drink. That's we'll not even because we'll of the drink. But also, do you know what the worst thing is? Every podcast, is we always happen? tell everyone. Well, no, we always We're tell people not do it. It's, it's normally you, it's but not I'm me. Not yeah. over. I haven't warned you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's going to make great views. You see it now. It's going to make great views. Uh, well, congratulations. You're the first person who that's happened to on the pod. It's happened in many a meetings, but it's never happened on the pod. But sorry <laughs> about that. Chat. <laughs> I love you and congratulations. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah. So we, I'm going to. We really had to replace our headline DJ tonight, didn't we? <laughs> Bro, broken neck. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to spend some of Dean's festival money right so we're going to give you an unfussy stage at next year's Loose Fest 2024 you've got un- unlimited unlimited budget I've checked with him it's signed off right unlimited budget I got like this nice. on <laughs> his face sees different <laughs> unlimited budget you're playing and you can put three other acts on the unfussy stage with you who, I mean, obviously, I, I watched the video, so I know you've got residents who are mates. Don't feel like the pressure is to put them on. If you want to, you can. But you've got unlimited no, budget. Unlimited budget. I'm just going dream. Like, yeah. Like, I'm going inspirations. Like not even, and it probably wouldn't even work musically. But I'm just gonna go for like. <laughs> but I'm we're all fussy. Exactly. So, so like, I'm gonna have to close the stage myself. But then, like, um, my inspirations come from like so. I used to listen to Disclosure's old album, like the start ones. Now, it probably wouldn't work musically, but I'd throw Disclosure in there, unlimited budget. Kerry Chandler as well. And then I feel like with that, we need like a little bit of high energy. So like, I don't even know, Mass Medium Club Caviar, I'd get them on there as well. So it'd be like a, musically, it'd just be up and down, but yeah. Nice, be- well, we'll get the contract started and you can <laughs> sign them off. Um, so t- today... I- the agents will be happy with me going after Disclosure and that, but, do you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't think my team will be happy with me doing deals while I'm drinking this Serrano. <laughs> so today, while I was doing a little bit of research, I found your Twitter... <laughs> so it, it does five posts all from 2016 the first post uh, is something about the morning traffic being bad what? where were you going I've not a clue <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can, can I just yeah, it must have been. Like, I don't really? use Twitter, so it must have been. I must have set it up. Like. Yeah, you've still got an account. There's about five posts on there. Yeah, and I the I first also... one is like the fucking morning traffic, <laughs> angry face emoji. Can I also have your back for that? Traffic is the worst, and it is the exact sole reason that I was late for today's pod. So I'm going to go and find that and retweet it. <laughs> oh, That's man. What else? I didn't know I existed. I did. <laughs> that wasn't me who did it. Maybe it wasn't you. Maybe you've had like some crazy stalker who, who give up, yeah, who just give up after five tweets. <laughs> I've not got the bite that I wanted. <laughs> going to impersonate Morgan C Tree before he's big. Yeah. I'm getting in there That's real. How you do it? Though. Getting That's in there real it. early. You're getting there early. It's like, well, it's not a fake account because look. It was has, anyone, has anyone created a fake um, Dean Saunders account on any on any platform? Do I really want to encourage this? <laughs> <laughs> I've had one. Right. It was a, like obviously everyone's. Most people have been done by the Tinder one. But before I got done, one who's putting my face on Tinder? Oh, do you know what I mean? Mate. Well, but the worst thing was somebody sent me it. Right, I don't have Tinder. I think I had it for like a week, like years ago, and then I was like, I'm not doing it's this. When so. you match with people, man, are you coming to this event tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Be out tonight. I might get it again. Will you listen to the pod? <laughs> Tickets are on final release, by the way, love. <laughs> What's that? You're not coming. Swipe. <laughs> I don't even know which way to swipe. But somebody sent us it, and it was a, a fake Dean Saunders. It was a fake. Did he even Dean use your name? Yeah, not yeah it was a fake face. Dean Saunders. Well, they used my name. They used my picture. Yeah. What they didn't use correctly was my age. Thirty six. <laughs> No, there's nothing wrong with being 36, and as we established before. I'll try to keep quiet there, but you're going to call us out on the pod. The, uh, what, how did I word it? And it's to be fair, it's better than being called Uncle Fester off you every five minutes anyway. <laughs> so Because he's a god. <laughs> it is Halloween after all, so. so um, yeah, 36. 36. I wasn't happy with that, like. Livid. Yeah, I was. I was a bit livid, but yeah, only ever one Tinder thing. And to be fair, I just asked them to report, and I don't know whatever happened. But then again, so. aren't you a catfish on Twitter, though? On Twitter, oh, oh yeah. So you know, ex-footballer Dean Saunders. Yeah. yeah. 
all the time. Like we've talked about this before, haven't you? So yeah. like he doesn't have Twitter, so I get like tweeted all the time whenever he says something a controversial on talk sport. Oh, oh yeah. I'm getting slandered, mate. <laughs> fuck you, Dean Saunders, you know fuck all about football. <laughs> I'm thinking, well you are right, because that's what Borough. So but like honestly, I, I The get opinion's no- right, but it's the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, you've got a dog called Milo. Yeah. Anything to do with the Scottish dance act called Milo? No. No, fair. <laughs> right, so you've got a dog called Milo. It's a, a chocolate Labrador, right? It, uh, so his mum's a Rottweiler, his dad's a Lab. So he's like... Okay, yeah. cool. Bit of a cross, right? Uh, you've got... I've got two pugs. And yeah. I've got a black and white Spaniel called Daisy. Dean, I'm not trusted. <laughs> Dean Saunders doesn't have a dog. So what I want us to do is work out what dog... Dean should have on brand for Dean Saunders due to his character, which you know limited amounts, but we have a bit of background and his general look. If you don't know, Dean's also got a very, very nice car, uh, very nice teeth and hair. So what sort of dog do you think he would be walking down the street with? A a, a charcoal grey Frenchie. A charcoal grey Frenchie. What do you think? I think he's more of a poodle type, isn't he? Like, I reckon he'd, he'd, he'd put the little bow in its hair when it takes it for a walk. That was beautiful. So I, I always wanted a King Charles Spaniel. Right. I always wanted a King Charles Proper Spaniel. a man's dog. <laughs> like, well, it's because it didn't shed hair, apparently. I remember. <laughs> it definitely I, shed hair. No, nah, like, I remember when I was younger. It shed hair. I remember when I was younger, one of my mates had a, had a King Charles Spaniel and they said they didn't shed that much hair. So I was like, oh, like, I want one of them. So I always grew up wanting a King Charles Spaniel called Ben. Why and Ben? I don't know, I just liked it for a dog. I was going to be called Ben, actually. My mum and dad were going to call us Ben. When I- so you're like, and then I'm the- so good, there needs to be two of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, no. we're going to call us Ben, I'm going to call a dog well, after it gets the worse. name that was meant to be myself. Mini me. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the pod. Um, the, the, the worst thing is, I, I want a King Charles Spaniel called Ben. And like the other month, I went through a phase where I was... Like I was gonna get one, so I was gonna get. But I only found a female one, so I was, I was gonna stick with it. I was gonna get a girl dog called Ben. What's wrong with? What's, 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 I was I was set. What's wrong with a girl a girl dog? Well, not if you call it Ben. Oh right, got you. Sorry. <laughs> Benny Tam. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I was miles away. There, also sorry. Ben. Like, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, was, 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 I just was, always wanted to call it Ben. I was miles away there. Right, um, curries. Your boy likes curry. Love it. Do you like curry? Chicken katsu curry, wagamamas? No. <laughs> yes, mate. Don't salt. Don't nah, salt. that's not curry, though, that. Don't salt when I've got a beer in my hand, mate. It'll be game out for you, like. Oh, you, you know, answer chef. Answer chef, and he, he despises me. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, I have the, what do I have? The palate of a child. Two seconds, I just get warmed up. <laughs> if, if, palette, if his palate was a colour, it would be beige. Turkey dinos and that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cook us up some of them, please, Ant. Uh, I've, I've got a, I've got a would you, ra- a would you rather for you. Would you rather have to eat curry every meal for a month or you couldn't have curry at all for a whole month? Like, you'll, I would have curry like every meal. Like, without, like, I'm with not you even on that for one, a like. month though, like, because... The thing is, I what, like when I get it, I'll get like say a mixed grill. Yeah, I won't get like a curry soup. It's like swimming in sauce. I'll get like a mixed grill. Yeah, come out sizzling with the onions and that, and then get a little sauce on the side. So I'm in control of like the sauce ratio, and I'm just dipping it in like that. <laughs> the sauce yes. ratio. <laughs> <laughs> I got weird. Got wagamamas and town posh. Like, yeah. can you disperse the katsu <laughs> curry ratio? I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to go wagamamas and go. Can I have a mixed grill, please? And what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mate, there was a there was a, a situation at Wagamama's the other day. So when I go to Wagamama's, I, I like I modify oh, everything. Yeah. Oh, I only like seven days it a week. Good or I love. I go in on the like the starters and that. You just get loads. Oh, of- man, I love it. Yeah, you, you absolutely go tap our style, don't you? But like when I went to Wagamama's the other day, so I, I always get my I get wok fried greens, but I get them modified. So like I'll get rid of all the all the normal stuff and I'll just replace it with like more broccoli. So it's like. Wok bro- well, wok fried greens, no bok choy, extra broccoli. It's just wok fried broccoli. It's broccoli. Yeah. But then, like, <laughs> but then I do the whole speech. So I'm like, wok fried greens, no bok choy, extra broccoli. Done them as long as possible, so they're as soft as possible, but still with the garlic, because once they did them, they didn't bring the garlic. And honestly, like, the amount so, of times he tells us, and so, it doesn't get any easier for me. So, <laughs> so and, I, and he's like, oh, them chefs hate you. And I'm like, nah, come in. And they're like, ah, oh, hi, that wanker. But, right, the other day, I went to Waggers, not my one, I went to the one in Newcastle, and I was like, oh, can I get a... What do you mean your one? Like, you own a Wagamama's? 
Yes. The one in the metro. The one in the metro. Yeah, the one in the metro center. I go all the time. But I went in uh, to Newcastle the other day and they refused. They were like, oh, chef says we can't do that. You, you get them as the given. Or, yes. yeah. Fucking brilliant. Let's it's get that chef on yeah, the nah. podcast. It's yeah. called stock taking. Yeah. You're the kind of person that makes my life a fucking nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I know that though, because before, like one of my first jobs when I left school worked at Frankie and Benny's, right? And it works out with the kitchen for stuff. So I see like when someone would like, you know, they put an order for you or something and they'd be like, yeah, none of this, none of this, or can I add this to it? And the, like the Portuguese chefs would be like, I'd be learning all their slang and that. They'd be like, getting, dead, getting dead pissed off with them all. And then they would, I'd have to take it out to them and like, pretend it's all sound. <laughs> oh God, I'm that person. <laughs> <laughs> My only thing English, but I don't like mushrooms. So I'll just have like three sausages instead. Go fuck yourself. It's all happening. It's all fucking happening. Have we been to get breakfast before? Because that is actually my order. Fucking spy on you, mate. (laughs) My only thing with the curry is like, I love curry, right? I really genuinely love curry. But when I've gone and done gigs in India and that, and it's curry for breakfast on a hangover, that is like, it it goes a bit much. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm not sure I can face that for breakfast. Yeah. Give me at least a couple hours to lunchtime, but it does get, does get brutal. In that question though, could I, could I, whatever, don't eat breakfast? Oh, you can skip breakfast. Yeah, of course. I don't really eat breakfast. (laughs) Right. So it's, as already mentioned, it's Halloween weekend. You're here to play digital tonight. It's fucking madness Mm -hmm. out there. On a Halloween front, best, Fancy dress outfit you've ever rocked for Halloween event. I'm coming to Morgan first. Are you a fancy dress kind of guy? I've only done it, I'll be honest, yeah, I've only done it twice and it must have been ages ago and it wasn't really a scary one. I actually dressed up as a banana. <laughs> so I had like, you know, have you seen them? Big, off bottom. Have you seen them, like them big, co- like yeah. big banana costumes? So I had <laughs> full head, just my head poking out. <laughs> yes, mate. And then literally underneath I had a banana top on because obviously Love we've it. got two hot, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Tied yeah. up. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit boring on that front to be fair, but. No, I'm not one for, I'm not one for dressing up. Like I like, my thing was for DJing like over the years on how Halloween. I hate the idea of it because I'm like, well, what's the point? Basically, you can only see from about my chest up. I'm going to wear headphones. So what can I, like, I can't, yeah. I don't have a mask on. I can't wear a hat. I don't want makeup because I'll get my headphones. So what am I going to wear as an outfit that basically the whole of it is just this section it's of my body? Out, yeah. like, I, I don't know what it is, but well, like. As a customer, I would love to like walk into a club and see a banana DJ and like, <laughs> yeah, it would be good to be <laughs> fair. Do you reckon I'm going to turn it around for a night? That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. what, what's, what's your best outfit, your best Halloween outfit? So for me was, when you, when we were saying about the banana, is the famous bottom episode, but I'm probably showing my age there. Mm-hmm. The bottom of the comedy show where they went out was the, uh, the Halloween banana because I had no pumpkin outfits left. So me and my mate Miles went out as uh, the banana and the devil, like Richie and Eddie, yeah. which was great apart from the uh, the tights that I had to wear with Y fronts on. <laughs> nice. Which wasn't wasn't too great. <laughs> Come on then, Dean. Same as you. Like, oh, we all bananas. No, 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 no. no. As in, like, I don't we've, to... we've already experienced this. We asked Shaq what his famous Christmas song was, and Shaq explained it, and Dean didn't have an answer, so he went, oh, it's the same as Shaq's. <laughs> so yeah. I thought he was going down that route again. And I got away with it on the pod. It wasn't until, like, after when I told him, I was like, I just didn't have an answer. Like, I a good answer. So I said, I just said the same, and then he decided the beginning of the next episode, he was like, guess what Dean did? The liar. <laughs> so what's hey. your best, best Halloween? You must have put, you must have rocked some good ones. No, I haven't. Yeah. I, like, I don't, I don't ever get dressed up really. Like, I, I, I think I've just gone for the standard basic Sexy white nurse. t-shirt, <laughs> white t-shirt with a bit of blood on, like half skull <laughs> and, and uh, contact lenses. I've definitely seen Fozzy dress up as a sexy cat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> was that on that thirty-six-year-old Tinder? Because <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> uh, right, we're gonna we're gonna play the um, guess what DJ I am game. Ooh. We've got a leaderboard so far. We've got Murphy's Law, who got it in 16 guesses. And we've got Kimmick, who got it in seven guesses. Same one? No, no. So basically, you're going to put your hand in here and pull oh, out. Okay. We've only got four. It's, it's high budget. So it's paper with marker pen. So if you actually, you'll be able to see. So don't open it. Just put your hand in. Pick one out. It's like Halloween trick or treat. And I'm explaining it to you. No, no, you just know you're just giving me it. It's oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like that, that game. That I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. You put it yeah, on your yeah, head, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the camera and everyone else. Yeah. You're not going to see it. Come to look and then you're going to... Oh, nice. Right. Yeah. C- cover your eyes. Right. Right. So now you've got to to be number one. Yeah, you can uncover your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> Play I'm the just, game, I'm blind. Thought, like, leave it to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I guess better. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you need to do it in less... Fewer guesses than seven to be number one. You're going to have to slide past 17 to go below Murphy's Law. So you can ask... 
you know the game, right? You can ask any questions and we can say yes and no. Yeah. Is that yeah. where we're at? Prediction, how many do we think he's going to get? A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> right. well, Can't put a number on that one. Right? So, so, you, so just to recap, you are now an, a, a world famous DJ. We're not mucking about with like lesser known people. These are historic, huge DJs. They're alive and they're incredibly well known. So you, you're not going down some weird rabbit hole of like a basics resident from the fucking nineties. Like it's a huge current. DJ. Yeah. Huge current international touring DJ. Like every, like everybody knows this person. So we're off and running. I'm getting Google out ready in case there's any questions you have. Yeah. <clears throat> Question one. Um, what club do they play in Ibiza? Oh fuck me! So, so for Get example, Google. do they have a? Do they have a? For example, Ibiza, they could have a night. Me. They could have a night. And what club is it at in fuck Ibiza? Me. I, think I was literally oh, waiting for. It. Is it a boy or is it a girl? So, so, so <laughs> I think that this DJ's residency would be classed as a shwire. I think Dean, can you check that? Calvin Harris. No, that's two. You've had two now. Oh. <laughs> also, can you can you Google it, please? Uh, yeah, that yeah. person's yeah. Ibiza residency. Because well, I will correct it if we've got it wrong. But work on the assumption now that it's one, not Calvin Harris, and two, if they do have a residency in Ibiza, can you check it, please? Yeah, I was going to tell him he had a. You've got a lifeline. It's not who wants to be a millionaire. But you've got a lifeline. Phone a friend. There's no phone a friend. There's no ask the audience because they've seen it. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's no fifty fifty because I don't know how that would work. We have a, a one. If you want it, they can give you a song that's hummed. By him, if you struggle a bit later, you can hum one of the songs, but that counts as five. I don't think I can hum one of the fucking songs. So I could cash that in now and technically be potentially under the... I don't know. be level because that would be five and you've already done two. I don't know anyone who's who could hum one of their songs. Well, there we go. But I still told you about it, so... <laughs> so it's not Dean's <laughs> fault. So it's pointless, but I told so you about it. we're now working on... Dean's going to double-check this. We're working on the assumption that if they have an Ibiza residency, it's at Ushuaia, and they are not Calvin Harris. You're on two. Ushuaia. It is, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed. I was right. Is what Google says, in case that's wrong. It's what I said. <laughs> I swear that doesn't make it easy though. So. <laughs> Proper overthinking it now. Um, do you know where they're from in the UK? I'm guessing they're from the UK. They are not from the UK. That's three questions. <laughs> no <laughs> confirm with the audience, by the way. No yeah. confirm with the audience. Yeah, we've all seen who wants to be a millionaire. Anyone coughs in the audience? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. The major. <laughs> right, so they're not. Yes, yeah, Stan. Um... Try covering your eyes again. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Andrea Olivia? No. no. Four. Four. <laughs> I'm just trying to go straight in with the guesses. Or well, Kimmich are starting to get a little uh, yeah, more Kimmich, relaxed. Kimmich, Kimmich will be, yeah, t- sitting easy in there. Fife beds. They clearly have a gig tonight. But not yeah. from the UK. No, they're not from the and UK. And they've got a residency at Ushwar. Yes. What is the name of the party that they play for at Ushwire? Oh, he can, oh yeah, God. he is can check a- it, but I don't think it, I don't think it has an, a, a, a name. It's not a... Oh, it's just like under Ushwire. I, yeah, I don't think it's like it's not like ants or anything like that. It's not a it's not a brand. I don't yeah. think. I think this person is big enough that their name alone, yeah, is the party. Like like Calvin and MK. Like I've given away. It's not MK. It's a free one for you. But like it's that they <laughs> are. Is they, it? And it's a double block. <laughs> <laughs> they are big enough to literally their name just be the party. Boss. That count was one of his get... questions, or not? No, no, no. no. Oh, You're on four. You're on four. Five, not Andrea or Olivia. No, because not... he doesn't get one for the last one because it, it wasn't technical. Not Andrea or Olivia. Not Kevin Harris. Resident of Shire, and the party does not have. Get I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm cashing I'm, in. I'm, hum I'm, the song. Five guesses. Let's go. I'm, 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 but no one can hum a song. Yeah, that's five. By the way, you said David Getter. I'm oh, sorry. Five. I'm just. I'm just being a good ref here. Um... Five. I want you to win, but I've just been a good ref. Keeping it fair. <laughs> I feel really bad now. I've like teased him with the is it a hard? Is it a hard one or is it a proper obvious? No, no, it's easy. Oh, it's very but, obvious. But, but it's easy for us. Okay? It's very obvious I'm the biggest cop in the North East, mate. Right? Even I know who it is. <laughs> so you definitely should. <laughs> it's going to be one of them, though. Like Anyone who's on the spot's going to find it harder. Yeah, but, like, you'll, it's you'll be like, oh, for fuck's sake, when you see it. Oh, my God. It's proper burning mid out of this. I'm just trying to think of... Other questions that I can ask? I feel like we should give them two hints. 
Two hints. Or two of these questions. Um, Instead of him asking the question, we should give him two hints. It's a man. They're very tall. Pretty tall, I would say. Maybe not as tall as Calvin, but not far off. Shall I give you? Shall I find out how tall he is? Is a. I don't think telling me six foot one's going to help. <laughs> Imagine if I did, though, and he's like, me with him! <laughs> oh, my God, I don't even know. Weirdly, it's frequently Googled. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one, you should have went, what's frequently Googled? Vim yeah. uh, Oh, fuck. <laughs> so you're on five. No. Yeah. You're on five. five. It's five. And at Murphy's Law took 16. He's six foot two. That, could you put your phone down any louder? Yes. <sighs> <sighs> I'm just taking my time. Sorry, I'm, I'm drunk and rowdy. I'm not making any guesses. <laughs> um, That's what happens when we drink, Anth. Hmm? Six two, drink. male Ushwire. Yeah. yeah. Massive. Not Calvin Harris. No. Not MK. Not no. David Gower. Not no. from the UK. Not for, yeah, he's not from the UK. No. Not Andre Olivia. No. He's not. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> you can't ask questions. That's I know, the, but I'm trying to... <laughs> that's, know, that's, know, that's the purpose of the game. Um, you don't just have to think of them. You can... Anim- what's the first letter of their first name? T. Tiesto? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to answer questions like that. But yeah, we've done the, the game completely wrong. It was for the best. We'll it was for the best. We'll it was for the I best. Was thinking, everyone else has done yes, no questions. Kimmich and Murphy's Law are going to be watching this absolutely fuming. So we'll put <laughs> you we're in trying there. to get them back, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put Top you... spot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll put you in there. Right, um, we've got some loose advice. I'm going to uh, give this to Anth and play an awful jingle. Um, and Just he's going to read it out. Just as well. How did you... Come up with that in the end? Was it because of the T or was it because of the six foot two? It was the six foot two, wasn't it? Yeah. I yeah. gave it away. I thought so. <laughs> right. Loose advice it. 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 We're going to do some loose advice. Someone sent this in. So this is just a question that we're all going to answer. Uh, so you can read it out, Anth. Uh, so this week's loose advice question is... I'm looking to broaden my musical horizons. Can you give me a song that inspires you and explain what you love about it? Yeah, so we're looking for a record that has inspired... Did you? I mean, I take it you haven't done any, re- any prep for this because you woke up three minutes before the podcast. Um, so start thinking, we'll come to your last. I'll sleep with the Borough match as yeah. well, to be we'll, fair. Was we'll, that boring? We'll, we'll come to your last. Um, so a song that inspired you and explain a little bit briefly why you love it. Yeah, main one for me is Gat Decor Passion. Yeah. Um, like I'd say my sounds like nineties inspired, but like kind of like modern in a way. So it like feels familiar, but it's different kind of thing. But with that track, it's like the, like it's one of those ones where you play it now, it still sounds fresh, like the pianos and stuff. And I just, I just break down those tracks and just analyze them. Just like, how have they even done that? But then like get kind of like nerdy with it and like Mm -hmm. trying to recreate those sounds. So I'd definitely say that's like a track for me that's like you can I just play it probably might could even play it tonight. It just goes off anyway. You, you still play the original? Yeah, I well, nice. I like the one with the vocal on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how lucky I Yeah, yeah. That one. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Right, and the track that inspired you and why you like it. I mean, I'm the worst person <laughs> to ask on this, aren't I, really? No? So Music is I'm universal. A, I'm a I'm a little bit of a <laughs> um, <laughs> No, honestly, my my favourite uh musician of all time is Johnny Cash. And I nice. think the, the American Highway series, uh, like the five that they've done with Johnny Cash is, is absolutely outstanding. So I would say anything along that, really. Nice. For me. I'm going to go for Kings of Tomorrow, finally. June. Uh, Sandy Rivera, who is Kings of Tomorrow. And I've always loved that record. I particularly like the Danny Tanaglia mix of it, which yeah. is like about nine minutes long. Big old tribal drums and all that kind of stuff. I love the vocal. Um, and it's essentially, it's about, it, it feels kind of like it's a love song, but it's really was written about meeting your maker. I think someone like passed away and it's, it's yeah. sort of written about, written about, um, yeah, someone going and, and meeting their maker and, and, and finally meeting the person that they've been waiting all their life to meet and honest of it. But it's, uh, it's an incredibly emotional record and hearing it at like sort of 7 a.m. at Ministry of Sound when you've had a long evening can, uh, all get a little bit emotional. Yeah. Um, Dean. How the hell do I follow that? A record that you like, <laughs> uh, that has inspired you and why you like it. It's high school musical. 
to see him from his hand. And, and if you could wrap it as well, you get that the would be best great. Of both <laughs> <laughs> not a Mary Cell seem even worse, but that's Hannah Montana, not a <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's worse than I do. Morgan set you up for a stitch on there. Morgan set you up for a stitch on there. Now we're only about Hannah Montana. <laughs> um, there's no. There's we need no a drink way. on every episode. I, I mean, uh, when, when obviously this goes out. It'll be after the Stompton episode, so everyone will have seen my fail at rap. It was not a fail, mate. It was very good. Well, I hope you, I, I was that angry that I messed it up. I sent them a voice note later that day saying, I can actually do it. Look. Did you, like... Oh, oh, I, did, I, did, yeah. I did it. Um, but my, it's got, again, we've got such a cool guy on who's an absolute incredible DJ, and I'm not going to give you a cool music-related one. I'm going to go Eminem probably still. <laughs> Probably Till I Collapse is like a motivational gym song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's a good little come on out of my hangover, get that blast, and I feel, feel ready good. to go again. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Re- ready, ready to go again. Here we go. <laughs> right, I've I've done no preparation. For that. <laughs> I've done that. I've done I've done no preparation for this. I don't know how it's work, going to work, but we're going to try and play Deserano Pong. It's basically a two man game between you and Dean. Ant and I are going to commentate. Can you um, drink it if we get another we have to drink it? Um, You've got to drink I it. I think the way it works is the person who loses drinks Normally. it. So if you get it in, yeah, yeah. he has to drink it. Well, would if he gets it in first... And purposely miss. <laughs> <laughs> right, can you grab the other ping pong ball? I think it's just rolled out the bag. So you've got a ball each. Uh, I disinfected these beforehand, don't worry. Um, you got to <laughs> You gotta scram the ball as well if it goes. <laughs> so I'd rather that than me. Are we going for? Are we going for? Um, play that and Gabby Ball. Are we going for international standard beer pong rules? Are we going one for? Bounce is in. So I think if I don't you, think we've got room for. So bounce, put that. Really? Put that a bit further. Yeah. So oh, I just straight up. So I. I think, Either, the, I think. I think the deal is let's not do any like trying to swipe it away because there's microphones and cameras and all that. So I think you, we're going to play seated as well. So you're on your microphones. Are we? Should we go bounce? Bouncing in. I think we'll go straight either. in. Either. Either. either, right. So hang on, yeah, hang on yeah. a minute. We need uh, we need something to decide who's going to go first. The reason I'm saying there shouldn't be a bounce more, more is... Go first. The more reason go I'm okay. saying there shouldn't be a bounce is because this mic stand is yeah. in the way of yeah. Morgan doing Oh, really? Bounce. I think there should be a bounce. So I think it's going to be straight in. I think there should in. be a bounce on. I think, what we, I think what we agreed was you can do it how you want. Um, so it. welcome <laughs> to the first inaugural <laughs> loose cast <laughs> Deserano <laughs> Pong tournament. Commentators Felix Leiter and Anthet Hepburn. To throw first, Morgan Seatree. You can see Morgan get getting self here very well. For this. Sit down, Dean Saunders! Sit down, Dean Saunders! Morgan, I don't even know what I am. That is an epic win. Stop the pod now. <laughs> it's not getting any better than that. A laugh in the face of Angel Lee. Look at this. <laughs> you know you've got to do it in one, right? <laughs> that was close. That was no, brilliant. <laughs> you do right. get you get one shot back at them. Yeah, go ahead. You have one shot. I can't see straight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the con- and then if it goes in, now it's my go. Dean to throw the tension, the tension in the room You can see the news on Dean Saunders here oh, oh, He's fluffed it He's hit the rim <laughs> Right let's call it That was absolutely epic What a first uh, What a first end to the first ever Deserano Pong on the, What a state he is by the way <laughs> He's going straight home to bed I think we need to do one going out mate <laughs> I feel like we need to do I'm one more question. Dean, on. I'm rocking up with a banana. Hang on, I'll, later, so yeah. hang on, I'll text for your eyes only now and get your table ready. <laughs> one more question. Oh, sorry, mate. Is it Derby Day tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I didn't What ask. is your prediction? I'm going to... what? Are Jake's, you red or a blue? Jake, I'm a red. Jake's a, a City fan, yeah, but I'm right. going... Do you know what? I'm confident. I'm going to... How have you been a City fan for about four years? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's joined. He's been a Newcastle fan for two. <laughs> With his Saudi second home. I'm going 2 1 United. Maguire, right. last minute. I don't know. Ooh, uh, bold. Nice. Bold. How, how bold. do you feel about De Gea's meant to be coming back now, isn't he? 
Yeah, I don't that? think he should make the treat him. Like, yeah. like, Off of that. Uh, right, well, thank you very much, mate. Enjoy digital tonight. Thank you yes, so much for coming on the pod. We'll get you on again next time you're up, and we'll do we'll do some other mad. Fr- we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll, 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 we'll do a Camden <laughs> Hell's t- t- Camden Hell's tasting session. Uh, right, yeah. Thank you so much, very yeah, much, well, mate. Thank you. Have a great one thank tonight. You for the live studio. And we'll audience. catch you soon. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.